Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. The final battle. Harry versus the Dementors. Wait, Hermione, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Hermione, where are you going? What is this? Where am I supposed to take him? People of the internet, welcome back to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. We are getting very close to the end game now, guys. If you go and look at our tasks here, our next task on the list is visit Hagrid at his hut in the grounds, which, as you all know, if you've read the book, that is the point where we are trying to save Buckbeak. And at that point, I mean, that's when things really start to get crazy. We start traveling back in time. I cannot remember how the game handles all of that, but uh, I know go. there are only a few things left. And before we get too far into today's video, I want to give a shout out to another Harry Potter video game. That's Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. And I want to say thank you to GM City, who is very kindly sponsoring today's video. In Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, you can customize your own character. Choose your house and live out magical moments as a student at Hogwarts. I'm actually hosting my own sweepstakes as well, where I'll be giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. So stay tuned to the end to find out how to win. Now in Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, you actually have quite a bit of freedom to create a custom character that feels like you, with a wide range of diverse hairstyles and outfits to unlock. You can even decorate and customize your own dorm room. Oh, and did I mention there's also Quidditch. Play anytime as you unlock and learn each position. Work your way up to captain and progress in an exciting, unique storyline. You can also master new spells and potions to use in classes for dueling other students and to progress through the story. There's also a large, diverse cast of original characters to meet, become friends or rivals with, and even date. Now, my favorite house, of course, is Gryffindor. I've always felt such a strong connection to Harry, Ron, Hermione, the whole gang, and the bravery this house represents. And in this game, it's super fun because you get to interact with Professor McGonagall as your head of house. Now, because of the time period that Hogwarts Mystery is set, my favorite characters from the movies are here, like Dumbledore, McGonagall, Snape, Hagrid, Weasley twins, Dobby, and all my favorite magical creatures from the Fantastic Beasts films. You can download Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery for free right now on your mobile device or tablet using my link in the video description below. In fact, if at least 200 of you download the game using my link, I'll give away a second $25 Amazon gift card to another random entry. All you have to do is download Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery using my affiliate link in the description below. Then screenshot your character getting sorted and to let me know which house you get, tag me over on Twitter at RetroRacketour and I'll be selecting a random person from those who reach out and tag me to receive a $25 Amazon gift card. Now, if we manage to hit 200 downloads, I'll give away an additional $25 gift card to another random entry. Now, also full disclaimer here, the link below acts as a creator code. So while Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery is free to play, if you do spend anything in game, that will actually help support me and the channel. Once again, thanks to Jam City for sponsoring today's video. Learned a lot from reading the comments. Thank you guys for reminding me to make sure that I use Ron. Just opened this right here with him and got the treasure. So completely forgot about that until I started reading more of your comments. So very much appreciated. Also learned that Fred and George will sell different items to you based on which character you are. Honestly, completely blew my mind. <laughs> completely blew my mind. I had no idea that it would actually change based on which character you were. I mean, I, I, I just never thought to try it. So we'll make sure to stop back by there and see if we can get anything. But first... Oh, I was about to say, we still have the trolls here. So that's something I also learned since the last episode. I learned that the trolls, in fact, are canon in terms of they did actually use them in Hogwarts for security. It wasn't just in book one. And I completely forgot about that. Shout out to uh, Wario Land Gold Pyramid in the uh, comment section who pointed that out because I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about that happening in the books. Uh, but they pointed out the uh, exact exact wording. So I went back and was like, oh my goodness, completely forgot about that. All right, so now let's see. I think I have, what, do I have two or three dung bombs? Let's see. Okay, I have three. And I think we have two trolls to get past. Maybe more around the corner unless they've uh, changed it up a bit. So, let's see, man. I'm going to have to get him out of the way first. Ooh, this is tough. I'm really not sure. Because if, if I put it here to the right... Okay, so let, let me think this through. If I put it here to the right, he's going to come over here and investigate. 
Then if I go around this way and kind of put it here. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I just wanted to barely peek out. Come on now. All right, at least I didn't waste any of my... Oh, no, I'm not. I don't need to go back in there. At least we did not waste any of our dung bombs right there. All right, we're going to hop right back out here. And what I was trying to say is I just, I just barely want to kind of poke my way out here and see if I can... All right, so I don't think that's going to give me enough time. Because then this one I will need to place sort of over on the left, like up against the wall. Get that one right there to pursue that and then go in behind him. But as soon as I start trying to go behind him... I wonder if there's a way to get both of them after the same dung bomb. Okay, he's going after that one. Alright, yeah, go, go, go. Wait, what? No way, dude! I'm completely behind that bookshelf at that point! Oh my goodness. No way, that's super annoying. Alright, well, maybe I was overthinking it. Let's try to just put it nearest this one right here i better search them again though make sure because i'm pretty sure yeah it takes them away <laughs> so i'm uh at two now let's see that's gonna give me three go ahead and search come on give me four ah all right birdie bob bean okay so let's put you right here all right so go investigate that and then put you right here Go investigate that and turn the corner. Let's go, dude. All right, all right, all right. Now, I think there's another one over here. There is. Okay. All right, so I think I'm good for that section. I hope so. I'm just going to drop it right here, I think. Yeah. It's like, I do not even want to mess with them. But there's more back here, isn't there? Yep. Oh, come on, get around there. Get around there, dude. No. Oh, jeez. How many are over here? I really hope it's just the one. Because I think I only have one dung bomb left. Oh, that is just so creepy how the Bloody Baron's just chilling up there. What is he looking... Ron, what are you... What are you looking at? <laughs> I don't like the way he's looking up like that. Like, I'm, I, I should be noticing something up there. Okay, whatever, dude. Whatever. All right, here we go. Try to get a little bit closer to him. Oh, no, I'm already out. I have no more. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. I really don't. Oh, come. Dude, I'm so, I was being so quiet. <laughs> it must be strictly a proximity thing because I barely move. Although, I didn't do the little crouch down like this. Maybe I needed to do this. I was just going like this, like barely touching the analog stick. Oh my goodness. All right, so we used up all our Dung bomb, so we're gonna have to get a fresh no noise, supply. Okay. Search here. Good thing it gives them to you pretty consistently. We need at least three. Actually, no, we really need four, to be honest with you. Can I search like the same area again? No. And then this one's not gonna give me another one, is it? Uh, I knew it. All right, and I can't search that one without him getting upset. Alright, so I think, let's see, this is what we did, right? We threw one right here. And then we run around this way. Throw one right here. Get you to go after that one. Make a hard right turn. Okay, search, search, search. Come on. I have no idea what he got. Okay, good. Dung bomb. No! Are you serious right now? This is ridiculous! <laughs> This is totally ridiculous. 
Oh, am I forgetting? Is there an easier way? Do I have to go this route? I won't make any noise, okay? I think I do. I think this is the only way. On the bright side, though, hopefully we'll be able to get... Oh, no. Is it not going to... Oh, it's not going to give me any more dung bombs. Come on. Oh, that just brings... Okay, I got four, though. That's good. That's good. All right, because now we're going to do this right here. And then we're going to toss you right here. I'm just going to, like, run through. Toss another one right there. All right, now he's after it. He doesn't even care about me. <laughs> Come on. Keep going, Ron. Toss another one right there. There you go. You're investigating him. Is that it? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. All right. But while we're at it, let's go ahead and search. I need to grab a few more dung bombs. Yeah, I don't think that one comes near me, so I should be able to search this hole. Yeah, he stays right there. Perfect. So the good news is now I've learned you can run r literally right in front of them. As long as you have a dung bomb out in the world somewhere, they will not care what you're doing. They will not care. However, it only distracts them for a very, very limited time before they're just like, nope. Nope, don't care about the dung bomb anymore. Heading straight for you now. All right, I'd really like to go ahead and max out. Let's see if we can get a fifth one here. Nope. I think we were at four out of five. Oh, come on. Is a dung bomb too much to ask for? A fifth dung bomb, please. Yeah, there we go. All right. So five out of five. All right. Now we're going to continue making our way toward Hagrid. But also, I want to stop at Fred and George's. And I want to see if there's anything else I can buy at this point. Okay, that, so that's still locked over there. And this one is going to lead to the grand staircase. All right, nice. All right, we're just going to run straight through, run straight through into the Glanmore Peaks corridor. And let's see, I think, it, yeah, it's this one right here. Okay, all right, Fred and George, there you are. All right, I want to see if somebody was trolling me or if this is actually true. Okay, so you can buy dung bombs with Ron. Nice. Antidote to uncommon poisons. And dung bomb case? Wait, does that let me store more? I could carry more dung bombs oh, with this dung bomb case. No How much is way. It? 100? Of course they're trying to rip off their brother. That is ridiculous. A wig and weld potion. A rare collector's card. Girding potion, stink pellets. Okay, do I have enough for the for the rare card? What do you card? want for this card? One hundred. No, nope, because they still want one hundred. All right, so now let's see what happens if I have switch to Hermione. Things, Hermione. I mean, still looks like the same stuff. Oh no, the little uh, the bag disappeared though. So you still got Wig and Weld. You still got the rare card. Still have the antidote. Oh. <gasps> Dark Forces, A Guide to Self-Protection, Chapter 1? I cannot believe this is actually a thing. What? Wait, what? Snufflefors Spellbook? Wow! This Snufflefors Spellbook Snuffly will allow to turn things into mice. How much is it? 50. Bertie bots every favorite 50. Piece. Okay, we have enough for that one. And then let's see how much this one is. Is one of these chapters from the Dark Forces a guide to self protection? We thought you'd ask about those. Instead Ooh, of beans, we're offering interesting. You a Take this statue list. What we'd like you to do is fill it in by finding the nine statues that it mentions around Hogwarts. No way. For every three statues you find will let you read one chapter of the Dark Forces book to improve your ability to cast spells. A fair trade, I think. Since many of the statues are in places that are often patrolled by prefects. Oh, of course. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, so what? It makes the spells more effective? Oh my goodness, dude. I, I can't believe I didn't discover this before now. I can't believe it. Folio Bruti page. Let's see how much that is. What price is this page from the Folio Bruti? 100 birds. 100? Oh, get out of here. Okay, then the girding potion. All right, so I definitely think we should buy the one that we can afford here because, I mean, that's probably going to unlock what does this some special areas, bots? right? 50, Bertie bots, every flavor beans. Because you can turn something into mice? Got it. 
the Snuffly Force Spellbook. You're going to have a lot of fun with the Snuffly Force spell, Hermione. It's particularly useful at turning books turning into mice. Turning books into How mice. Cool that? Oh, that's crazy. All right, so looks like that is all the spells that Hermione can learn. I'm going to go ahead and put that one on X instead of Flipindo. Transform small books into mice. So I wonder if it means those flying books. And let me go ahead and see how many. I think that's going to take me down to a very small number of birdie bot beans. Uh, 13. Okay. Hermione's statue list. Yeah, let's see what statues are on here. Bridget, Winlock, Gondoline, Oliphant. Hingist of Woodcroft. Founder of Hogsmeade. Glanmore Peaks. Well, hey, that's where we are. That one should be uh, fairly easy, I would hope. Beaumont, Marjorie Banks, Gunhilda of Gorsmore. Gregory the Smarmy, Jocunda Sykes, Hookie the House Elf. And then for every, what do they say, three we find? So let's count them. I think there are, oh, there are nine total, yeah. Hookie the House Elf. Dude, this is awesome. I hope Hogwarts Legacy has something like this. <laughs> oh, I love that idea of like having these special statues that you have to go around the castle and find. I can't believe, I mean, if I would have known I could have been doing that long before now. Excuse me. All right, let's try. I think I might need Ron for this, right? What do you think of these things, Harry? All right, let's see if Ron can do anything with it. But actually, before we do that, let's have him inspect their bookshelf. You guys are going to rip me off. I might as well look for more beans while I'm here, right? Oh, come on. Move it. Harry, move it. All right, come on. More beans. All right, we'll take it, even though it's like... Very slow going, one bean at a time. All right, so where are we at now exactly? Wait, haven't we been here already? I feel like we have, although that is still locked. And as far as I know, Hermione does not have a Alohomora spell. Let's see, we've got that one, we've got the Antidote, Draconophores, Expelliarmus, Reparo. Yeah, so she doesn't have that. Interesting. All right, well, what we can do is, I think we can go back this way. I've probably already done this. I totally have most likely already done this, but I really, I do not remember it at all. Only Hermione fit through there. All right, so let's Hermione. Come on, she can go through. Push the button. Crawl back. Oh, nice! It's like a bridge over here. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Not gonna turn those into mice? Come on. All right, so maybe we need Glacius? Okay, she's probably gonna need to stay standing on it. And then Harry and Ron can stand on the other two is my guess. Switch to them. Of course, they're just standing way back here, <laughs> completely out of the way. All right, Harry, let's do this one right here. And Ron. Where are you, boy? There he is. Okay. Now what? Okay, there's a wizard card there. How do we get it? How do we get the wizard card? Okay, well, we can all step off now. Harry, can, Harry's the one who can climb, but it doesn't look like even he cannot climb this, apparently. All right, well, maybe a spell? 
still making a sound though. Okay, and we can lock onto it with a spell too, or with our lock on ability there. And yet nothing happens. Okay, let's look at Harry's spells again. Carpe Retractum. That one could be a possibility. Expelliarmus, Expecto Patronum. God, I am trapped. Oh, come on. There we go! Nice. I was thinking this should work. Let's see if it actually goes through. And of course, I have not checked my wizard cards in a while, so I'm going to have no idea. No idea which new one this is, but... Oh, wait. Not that book. Uh, this book right here. Uh, five out of five on the witches. Morgan Le Fay. Look at that one right there. I'm pretty sure I've had that one. Queen Maeve. Pretty sure I've had that one. Ignatia Wildsmith, Beatrix Bloxham, Gunhilda of Gorsmore. So that's the that's one of the statues we need to find right there. Okay, and so we have three wizards. Merlin, Medieval Dates Unknown. We also have Glanmore Peaks. That's another statue we need to find. Uh, Edgar Schroeder. And Vampires. I'm pretty sure this is, uh, yeah, Sir Herbert Varney. We already found him. That is not a new one. Goblins. We've got two goblins. Alga the Awful. Foul-smelling goblin nuisance well known throughout the goblin world for trying to sell vials of his sweat to a dung bomb manufacturer. And this Irgit the Ugly, or Irgit. Uh, goblin representative at 14th century summit of Wizards Council. And then, ooh, man, dragons. That's going to be pretty cool. Two giants so far. Goliath. <laughs> I think. Yep, I've read that one before. And then Morhalt, ancient Celtic dates a known gigantic brother of the King of Ireland, wounded Tristan, the Celtic hero, with a poison sword when the latter tried to kill him. Yeah, it's been so long, I, I can't remember which of these are new and which of these uh, aren't new. Classical beast, the giant squid, the unicorn, the mountain troll. Giant squid, I feel like I've seen that one before too. So, well, one of those is new. Uh, we just picked up one of them. All the Quidditch ones, I've had those for a while. They, those were the first five that I gathered, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's close this. This was a detour uh, that was well worth our time, finding the other wizard card. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't seem like we yet have a way to get behind this. Let's see what happens if we... Yeah, nothing. All right, well, back through Fred and George's we'll go. All right, this way. Come on. Come on, move out of the way, Fred. Or George, not really sure. Not really sure which one of you that is. All right, and now we can go on. Glamour Peaks Corridor, we should be able to find the statue here if it's not hidden too much. And actually, I want to switch to Ron too. Oh, wait, wait, Hermione, with your new spell, does it work on these? Yes. So is that like the only use case for it, I wonder? I'm trying to think. Oh wait, why did we get a book for this? Great. I mean, a a wizard Come card. On, let's go. Unless the maybe the mice like run in here. They ran in there and that triggered a wizard card. That's the only thing I can think of. All right, so now hopefully we should be able to remember which one is new here. Okay, we definitely had five there. We definitely had three there. We definitely only had two goblins. We had one of those. We had two giants. I have no idea. Maybe it must have been the hags. Baba Yaga, Medieval Dates Unknown. Pretty sure I've had that one. Maladora Grimm, Medieval Dates Unknown. Uh, used a beautification potion to conceal her true hag form. Married a true king. Used a charmed mirror to reinforce her self-image. Became jealous of the most beautiful girl in the land and fed her a poison apple. Ah, I know that story. Old Mother Hubbard, I think this is a new one. Medieval dates unknown, lured stray animals into her home and starved them to death. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Insanity. All right, and this hags, of course, is the one category I don't believe we clicked on at all last time, so 
Uh, not sure which one of those is new. Maybe maybe two two of the new ones came from that category, most likely. But we still have no dragons. We need two more classical beasts, three more goblins, four more vampires, and then two more regular wizards. All right, so let's go ahead and back out of here, and we just need to make sure whenever we see those that we uh, quickly switch to Hermione. But while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and switch to Ron, search these. I mean, does it really only give you one bean? Oh, my goodness. That just doesn't seem worth it. Like, just the, the animation. It just takes too long for only one bean. That should be at least three beans for that animation right there. But instead, you have to go to each individual one. And you know what? I'm actually going to switch to Hermione, so I'll have that. Wait, this looks like the, uh... I don't quite know what to think about the escape of that serious black character. <laughs> what he did to the fat lady was indescribable. I just hope that if he does intend to continue his campaign against works of art, that he does it far away from here. <laughs> far away from here. We really should be going. Yeah, he looks like one of the statues. Can I talk to this portrait too? No, okay. All right, so where does this one lead? This one leads to the east wing. And this, oh, actually, where's Ron? Hagrid leads us. Come on, let's yeah, go. yeah, he'll be fine, Ron. He'll be fine. This almost looks like a secret passage right here. Yep, exactly what I was thinking. Go ahead and open that up here. Great. Another wizard card. All right, now we should definitely be able to remember who the new one is here. All right, let's go in. And uh, giants. We only had two giants before, and that one is the new one right there. Brand the Bloodthirsty. Medieval dates unknown. Lived in a castle on top of an enchanted beanstalk. Hey! <laughs> Apparently fond of eating bread made with ground bones and washed down with the blood of an Englishman. Was slain by a boy named Jack. Very cool. <laughs> I, I like how it ties into to our own uh, stories that aren't just, you know, made up in the world of Harry Potter. We should be going. Yeah, you're right, Hermione. I actually agree with you all for once. I agree with you all. We should be going. Let's go ahead and go through here, proceed out to the sixth floor corridor, and I think we're in... Wait, is this the statue right here? <gasps> Glamour Peaks. Yes! Okay, so what happens now? Does it automatically check that off? Because, let's see, Hermione's the one who had the the book right here. Hermione's statue list. Yes, there it is. All right, that's awesome. Okay, so that's one of them. That was easy to knock out. And while we're here, there are also some books that we can turn into mice. There we go. Oh, and it totally does give you stuff. Whenever there's a uh, one of these little holes nearby, I guess the mice automatically go in, and then you get something in return. I like that. All right, so we need to be on the lookout for statues. We need to be on the lookout for the areas with uh, mice, or with the books, which we can then turn into mice. This is the way. All right, ancient runes, fifth floor muggle studies. I'm just gonna start looking for statues everywhere. Oh yeah, this is the room where we get into the big fight with uh, Malfoy and all of them. Oh, I love how this, uh, this Muggle Studies classroom area is awesome. All right, come on, Harry. Can Ron fit through? Oh, that's funny. Come on now, it's not like... Hermione's that much smaller than them. All right, so let's see. Harry, pick up. Come on! All right, now switch to Ron. You pick up. I don't know if I've done this already or not. I mean, you have to be lined up just right. Okay, we definitely haven't. Nice. Dude, we are racking up on the collectibles and wizard cards this episode for sure. Finding lots of things that we haven't before. Birdie bought beans, let's go. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. A stack like that, that should be what comes out of the bookshelves as well when you use Ron. All right, we still got more to find here. Whoa, more muggle studies. Oh dude, this is so cool. But what is that up here? 
Okay, that's the one of the Draconophores. All right, so let's go into here, switch spells. Wait, what? Oh, I bet I have to get up there. It's such a slow moving spell. Okay, what? Keep out of the way. Excuse me? Keep out of the way. What is happening? Dude, I'm lost. Flopindo, maybe? <laughs> Why am I getting attacked by rubber ducks? Is this a Mr. Weasley connection here? A little Easter egg for Mr. Weasley? Tell me, Harry, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Come on! Oh, dude, Hermione's like almost out. We're gonna need a potion. Oh, come on. Get away from him. Get away. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. I can't even get Ron's help. I can't even get Ron and Harry in here. Okay, do we have any potions we can use with her? Yes, we do. Wigan Weld replenishes stamina. All right, we're going to need it quickly. Use it fast. Use it fast. Dude, they're following me out here too? Oh, my goodness. These rubber ducks. They're insane. Okay, that spell doesn't seem to be having any effect whatsoever on them. I think Flopindo was working. It was just... I was kind of overwhelmed. There was a lot of them in there. All right, so maybe we can isolate this one for a bit. All right, so Flopindo definitely works. Took that one out right there. All right, let's put some distance here. Okay, only two left. Not bad. We got this. We got this. Just had to get away for a little bit. All right, and then I think... Oh, suddenly there's two more. Okay. Are we clear? I think we're clear for now. Okay, so Hermione can hop up on these. I feel like the arrows are definitely a hint. Over and up, okay. Let's see, grab. Okay, but that's still not enough for her to... What about this side? Nice, all right. Ooh, and then we can Reparo this. I really do love how they used lots of different spells and they required you to kind of switch between lots of different spells. The only bad part is that it's just so annoying to actually have to switch. That's the most annoying part. All right, so now we're probably gonna need to, let's see, hold on, hold on, hold on, Hermione. Don't just push it off here. I feel like we might need to stack it. Yeah, we definitely are gonna need this one to stack on top of the other one. I think, anyway. Okay, now let me check the alignment here. Uh, not quite, I think we need to pull it back just a bit. Right there, nope. Like right there, right there. Let go, let go. And let's see. Nice. Okay. Drop down. Watch it be too heavy now. <laughs> oh, I was going to be so mad. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. Let go. Now this one. Nope. Don't hop up on there just yet. I want you to grab it. Oh, can I not pull this one back? There we go. That's exactly where we want it. Right there. And now we're just gonna push this one all the way. All right, hopefully that will be enough for her to jump up. Nice, all right, let's go. Okay, now cast the wrong spell. Back into our menu again, we go. I love the little whispers when you select the spell. Somebody was talking about that last time in the comments, I completely agree. Are you serious? You have to be that close for this thing? There we go. It's just such a nice little touch when you hear that whisper. Okay, you're gonna stop. There we go. All right. Make sure there's nothing else in this room. At least there, I don't think there's anything else I can get to at the moment. 
Oh my goodness, where are we, Hermione? Okay, I do not like running into the camera like that when we have no idea which way we're going. Nice, another collectible. More beans, wizard card, more beans, all right. I mean, honestly, like when it's that many beans, I'm not going to complain because we definitely need to get 100 of them. Okay, I feel like we're gonna need to cast a spell on that eye right there. Oh wait, we've been in this room before. This is where you fight that, uh, is he down there? The red cap, I'm pretty sure you fight a red cap in here. All right, so I feel like the rest of the room is sealed off though, right? Because we can't, can't jump up there with Hermione. Nowhere to jump up here. There are no items for me to um, bring over or anything, unless you can like somehow target that plane. I think we're good here. I think we're good for that room. Now, I do want to double check in this room just to make sure. Yeah, go ahead and drop down. Just want to make sure that there's not a way. If I did bring those blocks over here, I wonder. I wonder if you could get up there. I mean, how else would you get in that room, right? We're going to try it. We shall see what happens. All right, let go. Spin it around. Oh, is there not enough room? Yeah, there's enough room. There's enough room. All right, let go of that. And then we're just going to need to pull this one all the way down. Go ahead and let go right now, Hermione. Come on. There you go. All right, push it this way. This one I have a feeling we won't be able to get on because of the... Oh, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Okay, nothing else over there. Let's see if I push them anywhere else. Okay, we, we could get on top of there. That's not gonna do anything. We already were up there. And all of this is blocked off with the, the railing up top. Anything we can interact with here does not look like it. I mean, the only thing I can think of would be if you could grab onto that right there. But I don't think so. I, I think that's too high. All right, let's head back here. Harry and Ron still, still holding it for us. All right, good job, guys. Thank you. Okay, yeah. I mean, this has been a really good, really good episode for us going around and gathering a few more collectibles. We do still need to find several more statues as well. But for now, I'm just going to continue our little exploration here. Oh, and look, there we go. Another chest. Oh, but this one's locked. We need Alahamora for this one. Okay, let's see. Just a flipendo maybe on this? Is it playing now? Okay, nothing. Yeah, I definitely remember this room. Oh, and now we're back here in the bottom of this room. Oh, and there he is. I knew I heard him somewhere. I was like, where am I hearing that guy from? <laughs> All right, there he is. And I don't see... Let's just double check and make sure there's not one of those statues in here. Let's see, can we climb up there, Harry? Nope, guess not. And I don't see any of the statues. All right, back in the grand staircase. Let's see, we've got fourth floor history of magic. All right, so we need to be on the lookout for, oh, wait, wait, I heard it, I heard it. Where are they, Hermione? Where are they? Where are the books? There they are. Come on out. That was great. Okay, Hurry up. Now. They're going to execute Buckbeak soon. 
Relax, Ron. Okay, wait, are there more that we have to? Because there's definitely, oh, right there. Dude, that one was very well hidden. Whew. Got lucky right there finding that one. You have completed the Hag's card set. Hermione's endurance has increased. Let's go. What are we doing? All right, let's go and take a look and see who the final Hag is in the Folio Universitas. Okay, we got Hags here. Cordelia. <laughs> Misericordia. Hag representative at the 14th century Summit of Wizards Council. Oh, well, that one's kind of boring, right? After the other ones, these were all kind of a uh, crazy Letitia Somnolence. I don't remember that one. Yeah, I think that one might be new too. And then we unlocked the big one as a result. So uh, this spiteful hag was jealous of the king's daughter and caused her to prick her finger on a spindle tainted with a draft of the living death. A young wizard who had smeared his lips with Wiganwell potion kissed the princess and brought her out of her trance. Nice. Another recognizable story there for many of us. All right, let's go ahead and return here. Oh, see, look, another spot for the mice right here. And where are the books? I hear them. I hear them. Come on, come on, Hermione. That's it. There we go. We go now. All right, so got more beans right there. All right, now have we done this one right here yet? Secret way to the second floor. Is there a hidden statue back here? Oh, there is. Let's go. Which statue oh, is this? Gondoline Oliphant to my list. Gondoline Oliphant. They're going to execute Buckbeak. Ron, relax, dude. Okay, so we have already found this one, though. Look, that's proof that we've been here before. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop out on the second floor because I believe one of the statues is right there in the main, uh, like the main area at the bottom floor. I think. <laughs> I think. I'm not 100%, but all right, while we're here, we might as well. All right, come on, books. Attack us. Come on, Hermione. Why can you not target? All right, there we go. All right, a couple more beans there. Hey, I'll take it. It's not a wizard card, but I'll take it. Oh, yeah, I should be switching to Ron a little bit, too, to have him search these for us as we go even though it's just for beans that kind of looks like a hidden passage but no luck there on that one all right so we've definitely already done this one too Can we go now? but still might lead to a place that we haven't unlocked yet in terms of a statue oh okay we got that guy staring right at us not good Okay, I'm just kind of glancing around the room to see if there are any statues over in that area. We got prefects right there, which means there probably is a statue here somewhere on this floor because they said, Fred and George said it would be in areas where there are lots of prefects, or at least some of them would be. Okay, I think we have to wait for him to, yeah, do that right there. Oh, come on, the camera. I still cannot believe it is a horizontal inverted camera. It just, it boggles my mind. Every time I hop on to play this. Okay. I'm just using this to walk, hopefully quietly. All right, are there any statues right here? Ooh, there is this. Is this? I feel like we should at least double check this spot right here. Secret passageway. Okay, well, might be something. Might be something worthwhile. Oh, I heard it. You heard it too. Come on, get that other one. Oh, come on. There he is. Get it, get it, get it. 
All right, now Hurry up. Hagrid needs here it is us. over here. More potions. Okay, that definitely looks like. Oh, that's one that you find from up top, and then you slide down. Okay, nothing that way. All right, let's go ahead and proceed. Second floor corridor. Wait, this is just where we were, right? Yeah, this is literally right where we were. Well, maybe there's a statue on the other side. All right, honestly though, I'm kind of ready to go for Buckbeak here. I'm kind of ready to go on and see what happens. Wait, why do I keep hearing something back here? <laughs> it sounded like feet shuffling, but what is this one again? We really should be going. I cannot remember what that one is. Hopefully I've already activated it. <laughs> because I do not remember. Alright, I will on my way out double check and see if that statue I was thinking about is here. I feel like it was this way. Wait, what? That's completely sealed off? Okay, that's just strange. Come on, let's go. Maybe it's down here then. Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh wait, do I have to be I probably have to be on Hermione? That's Jacinda Sykes. That's three entries on my list. Fred and George are bound to let me read one of the chapters from the Dark Forces book. Yep, they are indeed. But on, I'm gonna let's see. Go see Hagrid we can't find one more. I mean, this seems like a very logical place to have one, but it looks like, looks like it's just dueling right now. And yeah, I'm not seeing one. All right, to Hagrid's we go. Let us find out the fate of Buckbeak. And while we're on our way, we'll be on the lookout for any statues. I feel like it said there was one in the courtyard, but that might've been the missing the missing item! Oh, there it is! It's the parcel. Yeah. Parcel that the owl dropped. Return the outpost board for more house points. On, let's go. Perfect. All right, so we found that. It's another thing to check off our list. Now let's go ahead and head down to Hagrid's. I'm curious to know how much of the game is left because, I mean, this scene in the book, this is kind of, when you're reading the book, this is when you hit the point of no return. There's still quite a bit left. But once you read this, it's just like, oh, you, you got to go all in at that point. You just you really want to know what's what's going to happen there. All right, hold on. Am I going the wrong way? I say this every time. I'm always like, wait a second, where's Hagrid's again? And then I find it just behind the trees over here. All right, do we have the invisibility cloak, Hagrid? Or Harry? Do we go around back here? Come on, let's go see Hagrid. Oh, I guess we're supposed to go in the house. As Harry, Ron, and Hermione arrived at Hagrid's hut, the executioner came to seal Buckbeak's fate. McNair. He's here. Don't let him see you. Pretty sure his name was McNair. Scabbers! It's okay, Scabbers! And okay. here we go. Ah, gotcha! I don't think the dogs appeared at all in the game. <laughs> if it does, I barely remember. I, oh, I don't remember it. I do not remember the dog appearing in the game at all. And yes, I know who the dog is, but just... For those who are, are trying to experience this in real time, we don't yet know the identity of the dog, you guys. So, not gonna spoil it here. And we are officially, we are inside the Whomping Willow at this point. What? Okay, wait, that's gonna be a Carpe Retractum, right? Pull off the shield. Hey, you. There you go, Hermione. Get him out of there. Another shield here. Oh, goodness. The frames. The frames. 
Okay, we definitely need more Carpe Retractum, because more of them have these little shields too. Ouch. Dude, they are just all over us, man. Back off. Come on, Harry, you got this. Get out of the way. Oh, did I get him? There we go. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need that, that potion. Still doing okay on health, surprisingly, even though I feel like we've really taken a lot of hits for sure. There you go. I'll slide out of the way, Hermione. Nice. All right, we got one left, and got him. Okay. All right, let's continue making our way here, seeing if we can find Ron. Oh, great. Hermione, what are you doing? <laughs> she just walks right up there. Okay. Got to switch to Glacius. Got it. Come on, Harry. You're in the way. No, I'm not in the way. I'm trying to get the other one for you. The one that's still on fire, Harry. Here we go. All right, Harry, finish him off. Nicely done, nicely done. Okay, oh, now we're gonna need Harry for a Carpe Retractum. Like, see, I love this. I love that they had, as we move closer and closer toward the end game, they're really making sure you utilize all the spells. I think that's great. All right, can we make that jump? Can we make it? Oh, yes, nice job, Harry. All right, before we can take those guys out, though, we're gonna need Hermione over here. Yes, she's the only one who knows Glacius. I'm, I'm not a fan of that, like that certain characters know, are the only ones that know the spells. I like it for the gameplay scenarios though. Like I do like that, it, that they encourage you to need to use all three of the characters, but I really wish it wasn't locked out. Wait, why did it just, oh, did she completely, she completely fainted, not good. Can I give her a Wigan Weld? Oh, that one's gonna go back and get on fire again, isn't he? No, oh, come on, right there, you! Why is it not locking onto him? Okay, thank you. I think I just have to wait it out, don't I? Or is there a way to give her a potion? Let's see. Yeah, it won't let me switch to her. All right, let's equip that, though. And I'm just gonna walk right up here. Oh, there she is. Okay, come on, Hermione, this way. All right, now let's switch to you, and then let's, hopefully she has one. Yeah, she, she does indeed have one. All right, let's go ahead and use the Wigan Weld. Nice, and you know what? Just so I don't have to switch back to Harry, I mean, even though he is trying to take them out for me after I freeze them, I'm gonna go ahead and put Flipendo on for her as well. That's one. That's two. I feel like there are more now. They're multiplying. Oh yeah, they keep coming out. What the heck? Here we go. All right, that's frozen. So hopefully they're not gonna be any more now. Harry, get up here, dude. Help a girl out, <laughs> come on. Uh, there we go. Nice, all right. I think we got them all. All right, let's go, Harry. Ready to proceed. Hermione doing all the hard work as usual. As usual. Man, it, this, this goes down deep here. Oh, now we got these things. 
I'm in the way. Are you serious? Doxy bites are poisonous. Oh joy. Oh joy. The poisonous doxy bites, you guys. <laughs> well, you know what, Hermione? Fortunately, we do actually have some antidote, and I think it said Harry is poison too. Alright, so let's go ahead and use the antidote on Hermione. I need some antidote. I've been Harry needs the antidote as well. All right, Harry. Oh no, come on, back to Harry. Antidote. I need some antidote. I'm giving. You're literally drinking it, man. Calm down. Gonna even. I'm even gonna use Wigan Weld for you, buddy. Even gonna use Wigan Weld. So you are fully back up to speed. So is Hermione. Unfortunately, though, Harry has no spells equipped. So we're gonna go ahead and. Throw on Carpe Retractum. Actually, you know what? I bet we're going to need Expelliarmus soon. It's just a guess. I bet we're going to need it soon. Because I feel like we're having to use all our skills here. In this final... Uh, seem it seems like a final area. Wait, what are you shooting at, Hermione? What are you... What are you? Oh, they're over there again. Alright, so I guess we have to drop down. Definitely going to need Hermione for Reparo. All right, let's go into the... Reparo. All right, Reparo. Probably should have used Wigan Weld for her as well. Come on, drop down. You got it. Okay, I was about to say, are they in here now? Oh, wait, can I not repair this? Whoa, 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 what is going on? Dude, they are going crazy up there. Okay, let's see. Can Harry jump up there? No, he can't. All right, maybe we have to Carpe Retract them and pull them down here. Having trouble getting one to connect here. Yeah, they're just like showing their... They run up, they show their face, and then back off. Okay, what am I missing here, guys? <laughs> what am I missing? All right, it looks like he cannot jump up. There's nothing he can do to grab on. Oh, and we can't even go back now, so we're totally locked in here. I mean, this really feels like one of the Reparo ones. Come on. You can move the camera around. Yeah, I know that. Dude, it would not let me lock on. That is so sneaky right there. It would not let me lock on to that box. Which is, ex I mean, that's exactly what I tried to do from the beginning. It wouldn't let me lock on. I just had to aim the spell in that sort of general direction, and it, it fortunately worked. All right, I'm immediately going to try and press this. Nope, looks like we can't. All right, let's switch. Let go. Let's get Hermione up there. And she's going to need Flipendo very quickly as well. Dude, while they're distracted by Harry. Nice, Hermione just took all of them out. Let's go. All right, so do we need a... Oh, we might need to stand on this block over here to actually... This one is so large, it's going to take both of us. Oh, they do that so you... <laughs> they basically want to ensure that there's no way possible for you to hit this while the uh, red caps are still up here. Because look how sm slow you have to move for that. All right, let's climb up, Harry, and push the button. And there we go. Now we can proceed, still making our way through the depths of the Whomping Willow. A tunnel from the Whomping Willow oh, led into the Shrieking Shack. Harry discovered that the black dog was in fact Siri trying to murder no. him, but had as they marched Pettigrew to Hogwarts, the full moon. <laughs> Dude, that was like a Professor very Lincoln condensed version of it, but okay. It works.
Man, this this was just so awesome in the book. My jaw was just on the floor. You just get so many shocks, like back to back to back. I wonder if they're gonna have Snape show up in the in the game. Oh, dude, we're already here. We are here. They are skipping. We are at the Patronus. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. The final battle. Harry versus the Dementors. Wait, Hermione, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Hermione, where are you going? What? What is this? Where am I supposed to take him? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, we go repeatedly to break free. Oh man, the sound effects are actually really awesome. And by awesome, I mean terrifying. Like, am I supposed to drop him and cast? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I don't have any spells equipped. Why is it not? Okay, you, you can't right now. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, just making sure. Because it feels like, it's like, okay, am I supposed to stop and cast Expecto Patronum? Or am I supposed to keep dragging him? It seems like I'm supposed to keep dragging him for now. So that's what we're going to do. Come on, come on, come on. Problem is we are quickly losing health too. And unfortunately Hermione does not know Expecto Patronum. Which at this point was a, a canon thing in the books as well. Harry learned it very early. It was like one of the few things he had on Hermione. At least in terms of learning it before her. Of course she would eventually go on to learn it. With Harry's help by the way. But right now she would be of no help to us. A rarity. A very rare scenario for Hermione to find herself in. Okay, we made it. Alright. Dude, that is a bunch of Dementors. That is a bunch of... Oh, wait. Here we go. It's time. Steer them away. Away from him! Oh, come on. Where's the stag? Where's the stag, dude? Oh, oh. Okay. The Patronus is a little hard to drive. It's a little difficult to pilot the Patronus. Oh wow, that was bad. Okay, just just hit one of them. I don't care which one. Dude, how is that not hitting him? Okay, you definitely hit that one. There we go. Just barely had to shift it just a little bit over to the left. Okay, we got that one too. Oh, he's dead, dude. He's gone. We lost. Oh, wait, did we save him? His health looks completely drained. Oh, yeah. We, we lost. <laughs> I was thinking his health looked completely drained. Are you serious? I have to drag him all the way back again, though? No way. All right, here we go, Harry. Let's try this again. Expecto Patronum. Can we drive the Patronus a little bit better this time? Oh, there we go. That one should just go straight ahead. Okay, just... Now this one's getting a little bit closer. Dude, why is his health still going down? There are no Dementors whatsoever close to him. I don't see any kind of like health bar for the Dementors either. So I wonder if this is a timing thing, if we just have to keep them at bay for so long or drive them back to a certain distance. Okay, we got this one on the right who's kind of inching up a little bit closer. I mean, we're doing much better this time for sure. Even if we go on to lose this one right now, doing a much better job at keeping them at bay here. It's getting a little bit closer, right? No. There we go. There we go. We triggered the cutscene. Yes, there's the stag. Let's go. Dad? Now captured. Sirius Black awaited his fate on the seventh floor of the West Tower. Harry and Hermione awoke in the hospital wing, eager to explain ah, to Dumbledore what had happened. 
Professor, Black's telling the truth. He's innocent, Professor. I believe everything you say, but there is nothing I can do. What we need is more time. Hermione understood immediately. Dumbledore was giving them permission to use the time turner she'd been using all year to attend several lessons at once. We're going to use the time turner to go back three hours, rescue Buckbeak and then save Sirius. Having rescued Buckbeak, Harry and Hermione hid amongst the bushes beside the lake. Okay, so skipped ahead a little bit there. To Black's capture by the Dementors, Harry's mind wrestled with the vision of the shadowy figure and the ghostly creature that he had seen by the lakeside. I know it sounds crazy, but I think it was my dad. Harry, you mustn't be seen. It was time for the rescuer to appear, but no one was coming to help this time. And then it hit oh, such an epic moment. He had seen himself. I've got to save them. <laughs> them? You mean us, right? <laughs> Let's go, dude. Expecto Patronum. Charge. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, this is cool. We're the stag now. It's him. I have no idea if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, we're charging it up. Okay, that, that time I held Y down a little bit longer. I feel like it lasted longer. Yeah, I don't feel like we're saving him, guys. <laughs> I'm supposed to, like, tap A or hold A? No. His life force is draining. Okay, that time I didn't push A at all, and I feel like it lasted longer. Okay, now I'm holding A. Yeah, when you hold A, it just immediately goes. And the Dementors, like, wait, hold on. Their, their life is not draining at all. This is not good. Maybe I need to get to Sirius. Oh, there we go. I was there, dude. I was there. Okay, we've kind of cleared a path now. Unfortunately, he's about dead. Okay, yeah, charge, 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 charge. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, that was it. We took down one of their health bars. Unfortunately, we cannot let another one even come close to touching him. So that's what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to clear a path. Basically to where we could get through and tackle the ones that are, like, right there beside him. And then you just charge directly into them. Alright, so a little bit past the halfway marker on the Dementor health bar. No, 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 no. Come on. Get through there. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Charge it up, charge it up, charge it up. There you go. Where is it? There he is. No. No. I am right there. Yes, let's go. Oh, man. We figured that one out at the last possible second. Literally one more hit. Sirius was gone. We would have had to repeat all that. Harry, you conjured a Patronus and saved Sirius. I know. But they'll soon be coming to take him to the tower. We've got to hide. Do you reckon Sirius is up there yet? Who's that coming out of the castle? McNair, the executioner. Ah, I was right. It was McNair. One of us has got to get Buckbeak to that tower. What are you doing? Get to the tower! 
What are you doing? Okay, fine. Do I really need to bow, Buckbeak? Oh my gosh, you totally do. You totally have to bow. Okay, fine. All right, let's go, Buckbeak. We gotta move. We gotta move. Oh, no, not pause. That's not what I want to do. Press B and hold to fly. All right, Dementors are coming. We know he's gonna be at, oh, he's on top of a tower somewhere. Which tower is the question? Right there, that looks like an ideal spot. Yeah, there we go. How can I ever thank? Get on, there's not much time. <laughs> the Harry's like, stop. Go! We'll see each other again. You truly are your father's son, Harry. Nobody at all nice. Let's the go behind what had happened the night that Sirius, Buckbeak, and Pettigrew had vanished, except Harry, Hermione, Professor Dumbledore, and Ron. I trust that you will make the best of the last day of term. Wait, last day? Your goodbyes for another year. And yes, I was wondering how they were going to handle this. Like, could I still roam and do stuff? I'll remind you that we will soon hold the House Cup ceremony. But if you would like to run along now. Oh, that's awesome. When you're ready to see who's won. That's a great way of handling it in this game. I love that. So it's basically like, all right, here's Dumbledore. He's ready to trigger the end game whenever you're ready. But you're free to roam and explore the castle if you want. Finish up on all those side quests. Finish up on anything else that you want to take care of first. I think that is a perfect way to handle it. And I also think that is going to be the perfect spot for us to end this video guys if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up it's going to help more people find these let's play videos as always thank you all so much for watching and i will talk to you again soon